Hello there and welcome to this RPG Maker XP tutorial. My name is Walker, also known as Noobcake on the RPG Revolution forum. In this video, as you can tell by the title, it, we're gonna look at relationship between two characters in the game. So let's get started. <laughs> So the first thing you're going to need to do is to create a character. Create two pages and give it a name so it's easy to tell by the events if you want to have movements. Then again, choose the graphic you want. I'm going to go with Fighter 8, so let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is to create uh, a variable to the relationship. You're going to set it to 1 so that it can be connecting to what we're going to work on later. Then you need to call common events. You basically have one when you start, so just go with that for now. Then you're gonna have a control self switch. I mean control switches. Or at least I like to use that because then I'm hundred percent sure it works as it should. Create it, Alice first time is what I name it as it's the first time you interact with Alice. When it's done, you're gonna go over, just select switches and call common events again. And that's all you need to do on your character. Oh crap. It's easy to do mistakes in movies. And I hope you all still respect us. Uh, anyway, now we're gonna go into the common events. And Alice Relationship is what I'm gonna name it. What? Why did I do that? I'm always so used to clicking enter uh, as I'm writing stories. So the first thing you want to do is to create a conditional branch. Go find a variable and it's going to be greater than or equals. Start with eventually 30 points or you can take a hundred and then you go down on else and so on. Um, I'll show you right away because we need to get to the points later on. So we're going to take 25 and in else there again we're gonna take 10 just to show and remember to take greater than or equals to I maybe forgot to say that but you saw that I did it and I feel that it's important for me to tell you at least so uh, the first thing you want to do is to go into relationship on 10 you're gonna have a text going introducing you so, eventually, uh, wait a second, you can have this as one. And you can uh, then go relationship one, greater than or equal. Okay. Then you're gonna introduce you to the person. Hello there. My name is Name and Pattern Progress. Who might you be? And we're just gonna stick with the classic question marks. My name is Alice. Nice to meet you. And for some reason, you should originally have uh, one about one again, but I didn't think this true enough. I just think I cheat the movie video, so I'm just gonna have to give myself ten points right ahead. Add ten. No, actually, you can add nine because you start with one, and then it equals ten. Now then, when you are in ten relationship points, you can hope jump up to giving choices. Alice, of course, will go. Hello. Let me put in progress. Uh, what are you up to? Then you can take show choices. Talk. Give a Of course, 
I would never have used those in my game, it's just some random things. This reminds me too much of The Sims, so technically I um, would never have done this. Talk. I found one gold. I'm so super lucky. I'm just gonna go with random comments from now on. I wish I could stand more serious, but some people are we're all special, I mean, right? Oh. Lucky. Wish I had such luck by my side. And just add you can eventually add points or not. I'm not gonna take it from talking, it's too easy. Interests like if you get what I mean. Uh, show text. I really like making tutorials. Ali is gonna reply. Can you teach me some of our this relationship? System then, and we can just for fun take in yes or no, no yes okay. Alice, thank you, really overjoyed, and we're gonna add some points here. Just take ten to speed up the process, and no. gonna take since uh, that were eventually and well done you have minus five it was a ball along I was just tricked and you're gonna go to give a flower I've already created flowers it's really easy to do everyone should know that so this you have flower there decrease one and Anna's gonna go, of course, overjoyed. Thank you. I really love flowers. That's not really overjoyed, but well, I can't really do any self defense here. Sad face. Five. And you have the E, which is just sim simply nothing. Show text. Alice. That's you now have a one relationship relationship points. Talk to me again. And you guys are gonna go twenty five. No. Let's go with that. Add just five more. Add. And this is mainly just to as the tutorial. I don't really know why I took up to 30. It wasn't really necessary. Alice, you now know how to work with this tutorial. And uh, I'm going to save this. And yeah, here is my flowers. Two pages, really hard. Okay. And I'll see you in a bit. Alright, welcome back. And now we're just gonna pick the flowers up at the start. And um, so really nicely done. Oh, picking flowers. Pick that flower like you mean. Wait. Oh yeah, I forgot to remove these from the <laughs> texture pack. From the map, I mean. My name is Alice, nice to meet you. Hello. Alexis. What are you up to? Talk about interests. I really like making tutorials. Yes. Thank you. Give a flower. You now have 25 points. Talk to me again. You know how to work with tutorials now. Let's go on a date now that you know it. And the last part was of 
obviously me. I just want to surprise everyone. So everyone who knows this knows this how to make this a relationship system now. Call me. And I'll see you in whatever next tutorial I make. And also before I forget, you can make this more advanced like making it randomly appear a message and that it gives you uh eventually minus points or plus points. If enough you guys want it, I'll provide you with this video. So thank you for watching, I hope you learned something and eventually you see this in your game. And if this was helpful to you, please like and favorite. And if you have problems or have a suggestion on what to make next, why don't why not send me a message? Peace out.